Hey, what's up? Robert here coming at you with another Sony Vegas tutorial and in this tutorial we're going to be taking a look at adding lens flare transitions. So before we can add the lens flare, we're going to need to get the clips from, you know, some source and I'm going to go ahead and use some flares by Rody Polis. Now RodyPolis.com, uh, he has a product called Rody's Lens Effects that includes a bunch of film burns, lens flare transitions, including other things such as bouquet and overlays. So you can go ahead and check that out. Now he just released a new product called Lens Effects Fantasy that basically focuses mainly on just lens flares. So there's over 55 lens flares and it's, it's not too bad of a price. You can actually get the entire bundle for just around 35 bucks. And of course if you don't use Sony Vegas and just watching this video for fun, it works with everything else such as After Effects, Premiere Pro since these are stock footage that we're just going to add into our timeline. Now there's absolutely some free alternatives that you can use. Just do a YouTube search or Google search for lens flare downloads and as you can see here right here you see this amazing stock images pack free download right there lens flares you can even create lens flares in after effects if you have something like that or in sony vegas which if you'd like to see a video on how to do that that can possibly work into a future tutorial so let's go ahead and get started into sony vegas here we have two clips and i want to add a transition between them with a nice little flare so for the second clip, I'm actually going to drag it in on top of the first clip and this creates a crossfade. And if it's not creating a crossfade, be sure you have this button checked right here, automatic crossfades. Make sure that's pushed in. Otherwise you won't have a crossfade when you overlap clips. All right, so now we can go into the lens effects or lens flares, whichever you like. I'm going to go into the lens effects here. And of course, you know, you can be using your free alternative and I'm going to go into the preset flares just for this demonstration. I'm going to choose the preset 2 here and I'm just going to drag that in. Now you see we can either drag it in over the top of these tracks or inside the track. I want to drag it over the top and this will then make a new video track with that lens flare. So we can go in here, preview that, see how it looks. Okay, so it's a nice lens flare but we're not seeing the footage underneath. What we need to do is change the composite mode for this track. So let's go into the compositing mode over here. Click that and let's change it to screen. You can also change it into add if you like depending on what type of effect you're looking for. I'm just going to go with screen. Okay so now you can see the footage underneath this lens flare. So what I'm going to look for is mostly the brighter spot of the lens flare right around there and we can speed up or slow down this transition. We can select this entire part hit shift B to pre-render that so we can see what it looks like without it being all choppy. All right, so let's preview that. All right, so that looks pretty good. You can do this with any of these lens flares here. There's also some raw flares that we can check out. I'm gonna go ahead and delete this flare that we have right here and add this flare to over here. So this is just a raw flare. As you can see, it's blue. Uh, let's change the compositing mode back to source alpha just to see what we can do with it here. So I want to actually change the color of this flare. I'm going to bring it over here to kind of a green since all of these raw flares are mainly blue. So let's go into the event effects here for this clip and let's add some hue saturation adjustments by clicking Sony HSL adjust. Let's double click that, click OK. And here we have the hue saturation and levels adjustments or luminance. Uh, let's go ahead and click add to hue and let's bring it on over till we get a green. You can bring the luminance down a little bit if you'd like, if it's a little too bright for you. You can also bring down the saturation, just adjust it to your liking. And I like that green right there. So we can change the compositing mode back to screen. And then we can RAM preview this. Actually, let's set it up where it works best between the two clips. So it kind of gets bright there. That's a good spot for a transition right there. Okay, so let's RAM preview this, I like to call it. Play that, see how that looks. Oh, yeah, that looks pretty good. All right, so that's how you can change the colors of these flares. So even if you download the flares, you can add just a hue saturation adjustment to them and change the color of them that way. So let's look at the Rody's lens effects. We have flares, which we went over. Uh, we have film burns. I have a tutorial on how to add film burns. You can check the link in the description for that video. And these are just some more film burns. Same exact method as the lens flares. They're just film burns. 
So let's go back. We have bouquet. These are bouquet transitions. You also have some sparks. You can use these as transitions or overlays in your footage. Then we have overlays, which we have a countdown. We have this dirty lens look, which I like a lot. If you bring this dirty lens look in here over this clip, right now you can see the line because it's not in 720. So let's go into the event pan crop here and change this preset to 16 by 9. Okay, and then we can preview that and now you see we have a dirty lens just in case you forgot not to clean your lens you can make it dirty again here in post production so there you have it adding lens flare transitions here in sony vegas if you like this video be sure to click that little like button down below and if you'd like to see more like this click that little subscribe button up at the top i hope this helped thanks a lot for watching and i'll see you guys in the next one